What is up, y'all? We got that Nightcore SRT7i. Just got it uh, last weekend. So I've had it for a little bit. Uh, the light is not in here, but we'll just show you guys what's in here. I'm kind of starting to get into lights a little bit again. So we'll try to do some. Because I did film months ago for the uh, Nightcore P23i, but never uploaded it so we'll upload this um i'll try to do some beam shots but if you guys saw the vlog last time the uh spot is kind of lit up now so i don't know what to do we'll see at least i'll get some you know outside or some give you my opinion on it but yeah there's the front the side you guys can always pause and read this stuff the rear another side so I also did order the uh, MH12 Pro coming out uh, this month or September with uh, Nikkor that new LED so I'm excited to try that but I'll show you guys what's in the box make sure I got everything so obviously light would be in here. You got this to make sure it doesn't go on. We got some goodies. So we got the pocket clip, which is their pocket clips, yo, are terrible. I love I love their lights, but their pocket clips, yo. <laughs> they're funny. Cause this one's even like this part is so small. I tried to put on the light, but it kept going off. I might have to try a different spot or something. Yeah, we got the lanyard. We got, I believe, looks like two O rings. That's good. USB A to USB C. So kind of like the P twenty three I, it does not like USB C to USB C. Some of them it might, but. I've had two different chargers like that in the P23i and this one they don't charge in it so take that for what it's worth it kind of sucks because the P23 or sorry the P20i does I think and I think the P20i X I know one of those did but they kind of stop so that sucks I don't know why they would do that got the warranty card here so yeah, I can't wait to see that new LEDs and the new lights they got. If they get, make like a P23i again or whatever number they go with, I'll probably buy that. We got the holster here, stock one. Nothing special, but it's pretty thick though. But I, I bought the uh, Nikkor NCP40 because I had the NCP30, but that does not fit this big head so that's what she said but yeah let's go through the manual a little bit all right here it is so I haven't even looked at it too much um, it has tons of different languages and obviously this has like the stepless brightness so it'll say turbo is 3000 Low is 100, ultra low is point, 0 0.1. Strobe is 3000, so that is good. The beam distance is 580 meters on turbo, 110 meters on low, and 5 on ultra low. 87,500 candela turbo, 3010 candela on low, and ultra low is 7 candela. So you can kind of read all that crap. I don't want to go through it all. So it does take two CR123s. Also, which is great, because the uh, P23i, I believe, doesn't. So, don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Like, they kind of, you know, that's the only bad thing about Nightcore. They go back and forth, man. Like, some of them support it, and then some don't. You know, I really like lights that do, because in the winter, it's good to have. Especially when it gets cold, you know what I'm saying? But it doesn't come with the carrier, so... 
I thought it did, but it does, does not. So you're going to try to find it. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Charge, obviously, USB-C. Takes about 3 hours, 15 minutes. Um, and also, if you do two CR123s, the brightness is not going to be as bright because it doesn't have the voltage. But yeah, man, we'll go get the light out of my bag. Hold up. All right, guys, here she is. So very nice looking. I do wish they'd get like little better uh, knurling because the knurling really doesn't do anything. I think they need to make, you know, improve that a little bit, but obviously the machining really good there's no defects the USB-C ports metal mine does kind of squeak which I do not like too much but I don't know if they all do that um, you could probably put a little bit of oil maybe just a tad but I don't want to do that so you got the I think it's the I forget what LEDs in here is that the luminous SST 40 you might say that I think so not a hundred percent I've been on the light game for a while so I really haven't paid attention but it's nice and has a pretty big head on it smooth reflector um, it's definitely a little bigger than the uh, p23i p20i you know that category you got the glass breakers which that's kind of why I like these you know you probably will never use it, but you never know. You know, this could save you one day. Yeah, it does fit my hands. It's just a little slippery, man. Like, they need to improve that and the pocket clip. And they also got a new metal tail cap, which you can hear. You can barely hear it. The other ones, you know, make a click. You got the mode switch. Which I think now this is like a two stage. But yeah, we'll go through the uh, UI next. All right, so we got it. Lockout. Nothing will happen. That's kind of why I like this too, because in my bag, I don't want it to go on or anything like that. So I think that's really cool. And now it is on, and then you just got to twist. And you can pick whatever light you want. Obviously, it's going to memorize what you had it at. So if you go back to uh, lockout, nothing, then you move it up a little bit. You'll get light. And you do have momentary. And then when it's on, this will be strobe warning. You can strobe, and then it goes back. So let's say we got it kind of low. Strobe, and then if you... Uh, that's a full press. Then what I like too, you can have it that, and you can half press turbo. And you guys probably can't see, but you can see it kind of fades. So it's not like boom. That's pretty cool. See, even really low. Boom. And yep. All the way up is turbo, so it's not just like it goes up to high. So you can see we got it on from off, just half press for turbo. So this thing will get hot, but it shouldn't get as hot as fast as like the P20i or P23i strobe. So you can do all that from off. And if we go to uh, tack. You can do half press for like low. I don't know the lumens offhand, but yeah, and then you full press for turbo. So you, even if you hold it for like five seconds, it just goes back off. You know, some you can hold it for a little bit and then it'll turn back on. 
but this will just stay. See? And then you can press here, stroll, and then turbo. So that's pretty cool. But it's kind of like, I guess it's, it's kind of cool, but kind of weird because you can do turbo from here and, you know, the power switch. But yeah, man, I think that'll be it for this part. There is some resistance. I wish maybe it was a little more. But this ring is, it's some. But personally, I'd like it more. Especially like at the lockout. I think it should be kind of tough and then boom, you can click. But it feels good though. You should be able to tail stand. And I like that it doesn't stick out too far. Like the uh, P23i, I don't like theirs because it sticks out too far. Yeah, see, the head's kind of warm from messing with that, but... Yeah, I can't wait to do some beam shots. Oops, sorry about that. Yeah, man, can't wait to do some beam shots on this. Uh, if you guys have this light, let me know. Or actually, yeah. Let's try to put that pocket clip... I don't use lanyards, so I ain't gonna even put that on. But yeah, I couldn't find my good uh, tripod, so I have to use a crappy one. See if you put it here, it just kind of keeps moving. I don't know if it's supposed to go up here. Or it's supposed to go under the tail cap or something. I don't know, because that... It just moves around <laughs> like... Come on. But even though I'm not going to have this in my pocket, I still like to have pocket clips, you know. Might have to order, like, the P23i one or something like that. Because it seems like it's supposed to go up here. You know, this is for that tactical ring. But that thing sucks, too. And I did forget to show the battery, so we'll show that now. And then we'll show uh, what it looks like in the holster. There's the tail cap. I think you can use that signal. I don't know. Well, I don't know if you can use like the TSL 10 signaling tail cap with this. But she's nice and lubed up. 5,000. So I noticed too on the the listing for the MH12 Pro, it said 5,300 5, milliamp hours, so maybe they got a little more milliamp hours out of them. But you have to use their batteries too, I believe. You can't use any other one, so. It sucks, but it's it's seems to be becoming more of a thing these days to have proprietary. But usually I can't say that word. But see this, like, does the pocket clip go up here or what? <laughs> see, I don't know. Who the hell knows, man? I'll leave it out for now, but. Yeah, man, thanks for watching. We might do beam shots in this video or the next video. Uh, they might not be as good as they used to be. Yeah. we'll see all right so we got the ncp 40 holster from nightcore fits it perfectly we got that 511 this thing's coming off but i've had this for about four years now i got some more patches coming got rid of my other ones and two i did not know about this even my other pouch you can go like that and kind of protect it. I didn't. I didn't even know that until I saw a video. But yeah, good pouch, man. I had my other one for what three years. Held up good. Even this 511 bag, man, held up really good for like four, five years. This only happened because I put it in my locker at work, and almost every day it, you know, scrubs against it. So you can't really fault it. But yeah, man, that'll be it for this part again 
And yeah, thanks for watching, man. If you guys got this light, like I said, let me know how you like it. I like it so far. But yeah, we might have another video coming too of some Ace Beam. If I feel like making a video, we'll see. But yeah, man, thanks for your support, you know, through the flashlights, through the RC, everything. Because I feel like I'm getting out of RC a little bit. So, yeah. But alright, guys. Peace.